Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. This network is called Signaling System Number 7, or SS7. SS7 is like a global switchboard for mobile phones. It connects networks, routes calls, and sends text messages. It manages services like caller ID and call forwarding. Without SS7, our mobile phones wouldn't work. SS7 operates behind the scenes. It's a complex system that most people are unaware of, but it's essential for the smooth functioning of mobile communication worldwide. Think of it like the plumbing in your house. You don't see it, but it's crucial for delivering water. SS7 is the plumbing of the mobile world, ensuring your calls and texts go through. SS7 was designed in a different era. Security wasn't a major concern then. Unfortunately, this has left the system vulnerable to attacks. These vulnerabilities are like cracks in the foundation of a house. They can be exploited by those who know they exist. One major vulnerability is a lack of strong authentication. SS7 doesn't always verify if a request is legitimate. This means hackers can impersonate networks and access sensitive information. Another problem is the global reach of SS7. It connects networks across the world. This interconnectedness means a vulnerability in one network can be exploited from anywhere. These vulnerabilities pose a serious risk to our privacy and security. Hackers can exploit them to intercept calls, track locations, and steal data. It's like leaving your front door unlocked, an open invitation for trouble. Hackers are always looking for ways to exploit weaknesses in systems and networks. SS7 vulnerabilities are a prime target for these malicious actors. They offer a way to access a treasure trove of personal data, including sensitive information. Think of it as a hacker's dream come true, providing endless opportunities for exploitation. One common attack is call interception, where hackers can listen in on private conversations. By exploiting SS7, hackers can listen in on calls in real time, gaining access to confidential information. They can even record conversations without the user knowing, storing them for later use. This is a serious breach of privacy, like someone bugging your phone and listening to your every word. Another attack is location tracking, which can be incredibly invasive. SS7 can be used to pinpoint a phone's location with alarming accuracy, tracking your every move. Hackers can track your movements without your knowledge or consent, making you feel constantly watched. It's like having a GPS tracker secretly attached to your phone, monitoring your every step. Hackers can also use SS7 to intercept text messages, steal data, and even impersonate users, causing chaos. These attacks can have devastating consequences, leading to financial loss, identity theft, and more, affecting countless lives. SS7 attacks are not theoretical. They are happening right now with real victims. These attacks can target anyone, from ordinary citizens to high-profile individuals. In one case, hackers used SS7 to drain a bank account. They intercepted the victim's two-factor authentication codes and bypassed security measures. The bank's security systems were powerless against this type of attack. Politicians and journalists have also been targeted through SS7. Their calls have been intercepted and their movements tracked. This highlights the potential for espionage and the threat to freedom of the press. These real-world examples demonstrate the severity of SS7 vulnerabilities. They are a reminder that our digital security is not guaranteed and that we need to take steps to protect ourselves. The very design of SS7 makes it vulnerable. Remember, it was created in a different time, when security wasn't a primary concern. This outdated architecture is now struggling to cope with modern threats. One inherent risk is the trust-based model of SS7. Networks are assumed to be trustworthy, which is not always the case. This blind trust opens the door for malicious actors to exploit the system. Another risk is the lack of encryption in certain parts of the SS7 network. This means data transmitted over these channels is vulnerable to interception. It's like sending a postcard instead of a sealed letter. Anyone can read the contents. The complexity of SS7 also makes it difficult to secure. With so many interconnected networks and protocols, 
identifying and fixing vulnerabilities is a constant challenge. Section 6. Shielding your communications. Mitigating SS7 vulnerabilities. While the responsibility for securing SS7 lies primarily with mobile network operators, there are steps they can take to mitigate these vulnerabilities. These steps are crucial for protecting users from attacks. One solution is implementing stronger authentication mechanisms. This would make it more difficult for hackers to impersonate networks and gain unauthorized access. It's like adding a deadbolt to your front door for extra security. Another step is increasing monitoring and detection capabilities. By proactively looking for suspicious activity, network operators can identify and block attacks before they cause significant damage. It's like having a security system that alerts you to potential intruders. Moving forward, developing a more secure successor to SS7 is crucial. This new system should be designed with security as a top priority, addressing the inherent flaws of its predecessor. Section 7. Stay safe in the digital age. Practical mobile security tips. While we wait for more robust solutions, there are practical steps you can take to enhance your mobile security. These measures are simple, yet effective in protecting your personal information. These tips can help reduce your risk of becoming a victim of an SS7 attack, which can compromise your calls and messages. One simple step is to be mindful of the information you share online. Always think twice before posting personal details. Avoid sharing sensitive data, like bank account details, or your home address on public platforms. This can prevent identity theft and financial fraud. It's like being careful about what you say in public. You wouldn't shout your bank details in a crowded place, so don't share them online. Use strong, unique passwords for all your accounts. A password manager can help you keep track of them and enable two-factor authentication whenever possible. This adds an extra layer of security. This adds an extra layer of security, making it harder for hackers to gain access to your accounts. It's like having a second lock on your door. Think of it as having two locks on your door instead of one. It makes your home, or in this case, your data, much safer. Be cautious about clicking on links or downloading attachments from unknown sources. These can be gateways for malware. These could contain malware that can compromise your device and steal your data. Always verify the source before clicking. It's like being careful about what you touch to avoid germs. In the digital world, caution can keep your information safe. Section 8. The Evolving Threat Landscape – Emerging Issues in Mobile Security The world of mobile security is constantly evolving, driven by the rapid pace of technological advancements and the increasing reliance on mobile devices in our daily lives. New threats are emerging all the time, and staying ahead of the curve is crucial. Cybercriminals are becoming more sophisticated, employing advanced techniques to breach security measures. It's a game of cat and mouse between security researchers and hackers, with each side constantly adapting to the other's moves. One emerging threat is the rise of sophisticated mobile malware. These malicious programs are becoming more advanced and harder to detect. These malicious programs are designed to steal data, spy on users, and take control of devices. They can infiltrate a device without the user even knowing. They are becoming increasingly difficult to detect and remove, posing a significant challenge for security professionals. Another concern is the growing use of mobile devices for sensitive transactions, such as online banking and shopping. This trend has made mobile devices a prime target for cyber criminals. This makes them a prime target for hackers looking to steal financial information. The convenience of mobile transactions comes with significant risks. It's like carrying around your wallet in a crowded marketplace where anyone could potentially pick your pocket. As new technologies emerge, such as 5G and the Internet of Things, ensuring the security of these networks is paramount. These advancements bring new vulnerabilities that need to be addressed. We need to learn from the mistakes of the past and build security into these systems from the ground up. Proactive measures and continuous vigilance are essential to safeguard our mobile future. Section 9. Knowledge is power. 
the importance of mobile security awareness. In the digital age, knowledge is power. Being aware of the threats to your mobile security is the first step in protecting yourself. It's like learning about the dangers of the road before you start driving. Stay informed about the latest security threats and vulnerabilities. Read articles, follow security experts, and be cautious about the information you share online. The more you know, the better equipped you'll be to protect yourself. Remember, your mobile phone is a gateway to your personal information. By taking steps to secure your device and being mindful of your online behavior, you can significantly reduce your risk of becoming a victim of cybercrime. Stay vigilant, stay informed, and stay safe in the ever-evolving world of mobile security.